Cooling systems are ideally meant to operate within a closed loop configuration. However, when you order a CNC spindle from China, oftentimes what you receive as a cooling system is an aquarium pump and some fittings. The suggested method of installation involves simply dumping it into a bucket of water and plugging it into a 230 volt AC outlet. Now I can't help but think about the potential issues that could arise from such a setup. I'd like to fix that by presenting a solution featuring automotive quality parts, active cooling and a lot of blue liquid. It's designed to work as a closed loop system and therefore consists of a pump, radiator, reservoir and of course the cooling agent. The first component is the pump. Its job is to circulate the cooling liquid throughout the system. It creates a necessary flow that allows the heat to be transferred away from the components that need cooling, in this case the CNC spindle. Since there are currently no components in the loop removing heat from the system, the cooling liquid will get warmer over time, reaching saturation at some point. This pump here, an automotive replacement part, is powered by 12 volt and mounted to the Z-axis using a 3D printed bracket. It has 20mm hose adapters, which use clamping shells for securing the coolant hoses. It does have a direction of flow and does not create any static pressure. Next up we have the radiator. This is where the heat exchange occurs. As hot coolant flows through the radiator, it dissipates heat into the surrounding air, thus cooling down before it returns to the system. By forcing an airflow through the radiator, we gain additional cooling power, transferring heat from the liquid cooling loop into the surrounding air. The radiator used in this setup is a dual 120mm radiator used for cooling desktop computers. It's intended to be dissipating 200 watts of CPU power and should be capable of keeping up with the heat generated inside the spindle during machining. And finally, we have the reservoir. The reservoir serves as a storage tank for the cooling liquid. It ensures that there is always enough coolant in the system and helps in maintaining optimal fluid levels. It also allows for easy monitoring and topping up of the coolant when needed, ensuring that the system operates smoothly without any interruptions. The actual component used for this purpose is a motorcycle brake fluid reservoir. It is sealed airtight and therefore still allows for expansion and contraction of the liquid based on temperature. Putting the system together cost about 200 bucks and took me around 5 hours. Please use a good amount of Teflon tape if you need to use brass fittings as I did. Otherwise, you might get leaks which only show up after hours of operation when the pressure condition inside the system change due to it heating up. After sealing everything and filling it with cooling agent, the system holds about 500 milliliters of liquid. At this point, it has been leak free for about one month. Sadly, I need to first finish the way covers before running demanding milling jobs, but I'll update the description if any issues arise during long term operation. If you intend to build your own CNC, let me know in the comments. Bye!